Let me ask you a quick question. Have you ever seen this image? Or this one? Or even this one? If so, you have definitely wondered about the possible origins of these images. In this video, we are going to be looking at the origins of unsettling images explained. Teddy. Teddy is described as a scary teddy bear that has a face that resembles a real bear with its eerie eyes. To be honest, I'm not doubting that, just look at it. Anyways, this is a pretty old creepypasta that originated all the way back in 2011, with the image being posted on the archive creepypasta wiki page. So, what's this so-called teddy? Well, for one, it's actually a doll, despite some people thinking it's an actual creature. <laughs> I'm not sure how people actually thought it was a creature, but moving along. Teddy is a poorly made Soviet toy based off a well-known Russian entertainment character, Chaparashka. It's supposedly poorly made since that during the time it was built, which was during the USSR times, there actually wasn't that many large toy companies, so pretty much all the toys were garbage. Also, to further back up the idea that it's the Russian toy, many people have pointed out that the designs of the walls in the original picture have stated that these are common wall designs in Russian apartments. Look, I'm not Russian or anything, so I can't really back this up, this is kind of just what I read online. But if you are Russian and you are watching the video, could you um, maybe write down in the comments and back it up? Jimmy aka Liars Jimmy is described as a high school student who loves to make crude and unfunny jokes which caused the bullies to throw acid on his face. He began to lose his sanity and plans to get revenge on the bullies by murdering them one by one. Alright, so now that that fake story is out the way, Liars is actually the name of an art rock band who made numerous songs, but their most notable titled, We Fence Our Gardens With The Bones Of Our Own. And in the music video, it does show the real Jimmy. So yeah, his face wasn't actually burned off and uh, never got bullied, so that's a good thing. Don't open your eyes. The entry deals with an odd looking picture of a man that pops up in the middle of the strange cursed Russian video. The video starts off showing a bunch of Russian text, in which I'm not 100% sure of the actual translation, but many have suggested that it states that if you watch the entire video, you'll be cursed and how you shouldn't watch it. To be honest, the video itself isn't creepy, it's just the audio is kind of annoying. That's the only thing I really got out of it. As we go through the video, it shows a bunch of distorted footage of something straight out of a horror compilation video. Towards the middle, it shows a picture of a man who has a sliced mouth. The man makes numerous appearances throughout the video and towards the end, we see a more graphical image of him. Now regarding the actual backstory of the video, there's really not too much information about it. A couple of people suggested that the man in the video reminds them of Jeff the Killer. Personally, I kinda see an early prototype Joker. I mean, come on, it, it looks a little, a, little, a little similar. Actually, you know what, scratch that. Chicken Little. That's a better one. The only other interesting part I could find from this video was in the comment section where user Synthwaver explained that they were the creator of the video. Chris, who could be the owner of the channel, asked them to do something creepy and he gave them a bunch of photos. The pictures look creepy but it's just art. I didn't think he was going to post it. This comment should be taken with a grain of salt since literally anyone could have wrote it so just be mindful of that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I found for that entry. And I know, I know, I know, I know people in the comments are gonna be like, but, 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 you never found, you never, you never found the true origin of it. Look, look, look. I suggested it could have been an early prototype Joker. That's the best you're getting out of me, okay? <laughs> the Cheshire Smile. The Cheshire Smile has been used in a game title SCP-87B that was released all the way back in 2012. Now that's only the origin of the image's appearance. But what about the teeth? One user explained how they didn't believe that whoever made this didn't photoshop an animal's mouth. They specifically linked an image to a person's teeth, in which the teeth were just slightly crooked. When it comes to the left and right side of the teeth, it was explained that both parts could have been photoshopped since they don't line up with the picture they provided. But it's come to the conclusion that the smile is from the original Smile Dog image, which made its first appearance in 2008, four years before the game was created. Mario Victim Number 1 Image Mario is a Super Mario World ROM hack pasta. I'm not going to go too much into the actual gameplay, since I'm strictly going to focus on the actual image. 
the founder of the SMW Central, Kieran Menel, recognized a text file that the creator of the game, Adam, mistook for the ROM image, which they then tried to convert the image back into a JPEG, but was barely viewable. Kieran would then do a quick search to get the accurate dimensions for the image, and this is what he ended up with. Keep in mind, however, that the image wasn't actually found in the game. It was found on a 4chan thread where the OP stated that they found a strange image on their desktop that was causing weird things. This picture is known as 12640-2680, or the simpler way, the nightmare picture. After downloading the image, it would set itself as your desktop background. It would then freely move around your screen, as well as adding odd mp3 files. Opening the image in notepad would reveal the words, find me, find me, find me, find me, and so on. This however was proven to be fabricated as the OP stated that this was just a way to promote a band. The band was Common Man Down and the OP, Jordan Davies, did post another thread revealing that he did it. So this just leads us into another mystery. What is the true image? This picture was posted numerous times on forums and platforms since people were desperate to find the true origin. Some of these suggestions including that it was meant to resemble a Spanish meme, Ayowoki, which essentially was just a distorted Michael Jackson. But honestly, it doesn't really look like him. <laughs> it even got to the point where people were comparing it to a real life murderer, Alyssa Bustamante, who killed her 9 year old neighbor, Elizabeth Olton. This specific photograph of Alyssa actually doesn't seem too far off, but after all the investigations, it was deemed different. So now what? Well, there was one last resort when the creator, Midnight Crick, made a video explaining how he managed to find the origin of the image. As noted in his video, he explained how the image originally came from a still picture from the game Fatal Frame. You can tell just from a glance that this image was easily the real deal. If you want to see something ominous, allow me to invert the image and increase the contrast. Now isn't that familiar? But you know, after this, when we all saw everything was done, it was then disproven. As another creator, Chainmail Chasers, explained that after editing the video and messing around with it, the pictures didn't match up together. So we went to an image editor and took to recreating the image, garnering a pretty compelling result. Something didn't feel right though. The left side just, you know, doesn't quite add up. Instead, he decided to do a reverse image search, and it led to a video created by Ice Cream Monkey Fan, who posted this video back in August 2008. But since the video gained notice, it's currently unavailable. It also seems that the creator deleted the channel in general, as you can't even search for their YouTube channel. But yeah, after all that investigation, nothing was found. And I already know the comments are gonna be crazy. Gubby, you, you, you lied to us, bro. Look, look, I tried, okay? I found as much research as I could. Eyeless Jack. To me, Eyeless Jack was probably one of the most unsettling pictures. And I remember seeing it for the first time when I was like 12 or 13, and I was genuinely scared of it. But to be honest, the actual creepypasta story regarding Eyeless Jack was kind of cheesy. I was just more interested in the picture. So, what is the image? This wasn't too difficult to find out as it was revealed on Twitter of all places. Trevor Henderson posted a picture of Eyeless Jack. And surprisingly, a user named Pirate Cashew explained that they made the original image for Alice Jack back in high school using Photoshop. To further emphasize their point, they explained that their friend took the photo and uploaded it anonymously, and someone took the image and used it for Alice Jack. They also provided an unblurred version of the picture to prove it. Two Witches in the 1920s You may have seen this picture in the past where it states that this picture shows proof of two witches back in the 1920s. They also supposedly possessed and cast the spells on numerous people, only to mysteriously disappear a year later. Look, I know how some creepypasta stories are bad. You could tell when someone actually puts an effort. Bro, did the people even try to like make it interesting at all? They're like, oh, so they were seen, but then disappeared. Ooh, like, like are... Moving along, this was tough to do research on since there wasn't that much knowledge about it. Even reverse image searching didn't provide me with that much detail since most of the posts about it were in foreign languages. However, it was discovered by a user that the picture was potentially just a photograph of two of the seven Sutherland sisters, who are a popular singing group. As shown, they share a ton of similarities, which includes the hair lengths and body frame. 
The only thing that's different is that the original post stated that it was taken during the 1920s, while the Sutherland sisters were relevant in the 1880s. But as stated before, the whole witch story could have been fake, so this could actually be the sisters. So we're just gonna stick with that, unless someone else in the comments could help me. I would really appreciate that. And that wraps it up. To those who stayed in the end, please let me know in the comments on anything I need to improve on, as it helps me become a better creator. Also, I want to thank you guys so much, so much for 21,000 subscribers. Literally every video I'm always growing and that's just a good sign. I know I still have a lot to improve on, but it's just great that I'm actually getting some sort of attention now. So I thank you guys. Thank you so much. I also have a discord for this channel if you guys wish to join, where I'll leave the link in the description and in the pinned comment. The server has almost 200 members now and there's a lot of people you can talk with. I mean, there's a lot of chill people in this community, so honestly, it's not a bad idea to join. <laughs> but yeah, that wraps it up. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, have a great one.